the dark side of the rainbow. Wait a minute. There is no dark side to the rainbow. That's... Oh, I get it. From the enemy's perspective, when they see the rainbow, things get dark. What's happening, everybody? Hope you guys are feeling great. I'm Team Kills, and what I like to do is make gaming easier. So, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and he happened to mention that he thinks Citrine sucks. So, of course, I happened to mention that I think he sucks. He said, no, 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 seriously? Her abilities, they're kind of stupid to useless, maybe even broken in a bad way. I, of course, responded with, no, you're stupid to useless, broken in a bad way. And then he started to explain. He said, I don't want to prime my enemies for death with my first ability. I want them dead. My weapons, they tend to do that. When I take these split second to prime them with my first abilities, my teammates kill them. And I wanted to do that. Her second ability just sucks. It's not enough defense. Her third ability is broken in a bad way. I don't need this rainbow crystal to shoot at enemies I'm already shooting at. Like I mentioned, my weapons kill enemies. I, I need this to shoot at things behind me. And her fourth ability just sucks. I don't want to have to jump around the room shooting people in the back, the ass, or wherever the hell that crit crystal decides to come out. Now, I, I don't ever want to tell anybody that you're using the Warframe wrong. It's your frame, your game. You can do whatever you want. But as I was slapping him, I found myself telling him, you're using her wrong. So, from my point of view, let me explain how I believe she should be used. As I was slapping and kicking him, I calmly explained that the fourth ability is very, very useful. Even if you don't want to use it the way you're supposed to. Having red crit crystals is awesome. You can use those same weapons and shoot those same enemies. You don't have to aim for the crystals. But when you do hit them, it's great. It can be considered an expensive ability if you want to use it for crowd control at a 100 energy base. But with range and duration, you can tie up a lot of people and you can kill those people with those same weapons that you're so fond of. Now her third ability, which is probably her best ability, let's call this the Rainbow Arena Crystal of Death. This ability attacks enemies with poison, fire, ice, and electricity. All the base elements. Now I know it does shoot at the enemies that you're shooting at, but if you use your first ability to prime them, your third ability will shred them. And you'll get enough energy, enough health back, where you can just keep spamming the living shit out of this. That is, This is how you shoot people from behind. This is actually how you're supposed to use the crystal, in, in my opinion. Now her second ability, yeah, it kind of does suck. In a way where at like 200%, you might get a 60 or 58% of damage reduction boost. Now it does grow with time, but... The amount of power that you have to put on her for a second ability to have a noticeable difference is kind of, I don't want to say counterproductive, but not, in my opinion, the best way to build Citrine. Duration and range. With power, but duration and range are your most important things. Now, I know not everybody loves the call missions, so the Archon mods might be a little hard to get your hands on. But, if you put those on her without doing any extra tweaking, when you have a toxin status, I believe it turns to viral or corrosive, I can't remember. When you have a fire status, it will double the damage. When you have an ice status, I believe it has a 10% chance to drop a energy orb if they die that way. Which will add to your already 26%. Well, it won't really add to be honest. Technically, it's two shots. They don't multiply together. But you get more chances of energy orb dropping on the ground. And if they die with ice, you just get straight energy right onto your right onto your warframe. Now I mentioned before, her second ability it might kind of suck. You could change out it with anything from the infested testicle in the back of our orbiter. Roar and gloom, of course, fantastic things. But I well, you could try something like desecrate. Desecrate not only adds more crowd control, adds finishers and whatever goodness you can plan and, and pair up with that, it also heals you. 
So then you can use Archon Intensify for the full set. So when you use that ability, you get a 30% boost on your on whatever the hell else you want to do. I use the two Augur mods only because this gives me 80% of the energy spent and I'm pretty spammy in this build, but 80% of the energy spent comes back to my shields. That's how I keep my shields up. Then I go for the arcanes that will help me for some extra duration and some extra power. Or because she has no shields, you can go and use something like blessing or something that will give you extra health or something that will help you heal your health it's just and there'll be enough health orbs around from your first ability priming those enemies that your third ability is killing you'll get tons of health orbs to stack right onto your health now i used three azure three blue tau forge shards the normal ones so i can get an extra 150 energy because like i said i'm pretty spammy with this build and I use two yellow Telford shards to give me a 100% efficiency on the energy orbs I pick up. So the pile of energy orbs will be a bigger pile of energy orbs. However you want to build it is completely up to you. I just, there's some base things that my almost dead friend is doing wrong. So I'm not against, but I don't usually advocate violence unless of course in Warframe. But saying Citrine sucks is a slappable offense blasphemy almost i'm not even the hugest fan of her I, I i like her but she's not one of my go-to frames but need to eat some shit for that anyhow i hope you enjoyed yourself i hope this helps i hope you join the team of killers become a killer of teams let me know what you're thinking in the comments it's one of the ways we can talk make sure you keep it easy in life and remember just keep gaming